Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a citizen whistleblower who has taken up the fight to protect our community's lives and rights, especially at the hands of law enforcement. He is one of the men and women on the front lines battling injustice and part of the new BET docuseries, Cop Watch America. Let's take a look. We've implemented so much stuff here in Atlanta, like the breaking up of the FBI task force. That's when APD and the FBI used to work together. That's dismantled. Every Atlanta police officer has to wear a body cam. Like, that's all from the pressure, it's from social media, that's from being in the streets, that's from being in the courtrooms. And we definitely want more because it's more fight to give. Yes. Mm, Please I welcome Christopher it. City Mungin. Oh, yeah. Welcome you, to the you, show. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thank Absolutely. You, you. We're so excited. Now, we have to get this straight. Is it Christopher or do you like City? Which one do you like the most? When I'm in trouble, it's Christopher. Okay, got okay. it. That's right. That's when right. When my mom or my wife say I'm in trouble, it's, it's Christopher. Christopher. Yes, right. Yes, yes. Everybody else just calls me City. Just call you City. <laughs> okay. Like that. Yes. City so, it is. Right. So you're an everyday <clears throat> citizen yes. that wants to see the right thing happened. Yes, um, definitely. But what, what, what was the incident that sparked your activism? Mm -hmm. Or well, was there one? Yeah, actually, for me, it was, uh, if you're familiar when we boycotted Waffle House. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Um, with Shakisha Clemens down in Mobile, Alabama. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was like, I went down as radio personality to cover the story. Mm -hmm. And then once I started seeing all the unjust and hearing the stories and dealing with some of the families, it was like, and nobody's talking about this? Right. And then I looked at myself, at the platform that I have, that so many listeners, it was time to use my platform for a greater cause, yes. rather than just talking about entertainment all the time. Right. So next thing you know, okay. I went from talking about the situation to now I'm in front of a, a protest, then I'm leading a protest, and now everybody's calling me for protest, right. and next thing you know, I'm an activist. So it was like, it chose me. Oh, you know what I mean? So, I like that. that was an organic was, yeah, way to do it. it. Yeah. You use your platform in the right, in the right way. And, then, and, the, and the universe said, yeah, he's, he's our guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I didn't want to accept it in the beginning yeah. because I was like, like when people used to say, oh, you're active. It's like, well, Martin Luther King died for this. Malcolm X died for this. It's like, oh, I'm just somebody who cares. <laughs> you know? so it was like, people, people, whole life changed for that word. So yes, I, I, like, people just sometimes use that word so freely. Yes, so they I was do. like, let me, let me put some work on my resume before y'all give me a title. That's yeah. so good. Let me put some work in. Yeah. But now I just can't run from it now. Yes. It, just, it is what it is. It is. <laughs> I love that. I love how, you know, uh, I find God in everything. Mm -hmm. I, I just love how God moved you into your purpose. Mm -hmm. See, some of us don't know what our purpose is or what we're here to do. Definitely. But it's funny how God will take mm -hmm. the thing that you're already doing and you, you said, I'm going to go here, I'm going to do that. And all of a sudden, your eyes just became open mm. to what you're supposed to do. Yeah. God is so good with that. Uh, okay, so all the shootings, all the crimes, all the hatred that's going on mm -hmm. uh, across the world, um, what is your strategy for, like, mobilization? How do you... Well, for me, I'm, I'm more of the quote-unquote agitator. Mm, um, they hate to see you coming, don't they? Yeah. I hate to when they see, see the coming. red, they know they're in trouble. Wow. <laughs> well, right there was blonde. <laughs> well, so that, that was when I first thought. Yeah. That's what happened was. Oh, my God. But no, um, it's, it's one of the things where, you know, there, there's protocols. You know, the family calls out, they reach out to an attorney. Then the attorney works with certain activists. And then, they, you know, they try to sit down with the mayors and the mm. DAs and things of that nature. And then when there's not enough noise being made, it's time to bring a bigger awareness. Mm. City gets called. Mm. And wow. that's the one who gets in the streets. And at the end of the day, I'm the one that takes the bullet five people. Mm. You know what I mean? Wow. And that's just something that I feel like we need more of. Yes. Um, but it, it's going to come. Yeah. It's going to come. Yeah. 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 So so what's been an issue that you, you're currently throwing your support behind? And, and have you seen a change? Yeah, multiple cases, but the main one that I'm like gun ho focused on, eyesight, would be Jimmy Atchison. He's actually mm -hmm. an Atlanta resident. Mm -hmm. He was the gentleman, I don't know if you remember, January 22nd, mm -hmm. was gunned down, point blank, shot in the face right. while he was unarmed, on his knees, surrendering in the closet. Wow. Right, right. Um, uh, by Officer Sun Kim, which was an Atlanta poli police department officer. Now, with all the work that we've put, not just myself, along with the family, because we can't do this without the, the energy and the heart and the fight of the family yeah. and then the attorneys such as Tanya Miller and uh, Gerald Griggs, mm -hmm. we've got Officer Sun Kim had to forcefully, forcefully re resign. Yes. Mm -hmm. We would love to have seen him get fired, mm -hmm. but he got resigned, which means he gets his pension, mm -hmm. which means he can go work at another police department at any time. Wow. Mm -hmm. So now all the pressure's on the DA's table, which is Paul Howard, mm -hmm. and he's been relaxing. Mm -hmm. Not only does he have the Jimmy Atchison case, he has seven other investigation and cases on his desk that he hasn't put no attention to right now. My wow. Like, why do you think that is? And is that disappointing? I mean, Paul Howard has been our uh, district attorney for, uh, here. Since 1997, yes. the first black yes. one. Black. Yes, yes. So what does that, what type of impact does that have on you? And how does that make you feel to see that he's not putting any energy behind it as of yet? I would say for me, it just, 
it's a sad case because mm -hmm. it's like this is your community. Yes. This mm -hmm. could have been your son, your mm -hmm. nephew, mm -hmm. or a family member, or just a friend. Wow. But at the end of the day, Jimmy Atchison was the son of Atlanta. Yes. So by you protecting the streets of Atlanta, you're the DA. You're supposed to right is right, wrong is wrong. Do your job. Yeah, yeah. It's not a color thing. It's a right and wrong thing. Absolutely. Do your job. Right. Mm -hmm. What made you uh, <laughs> want to be a part of Cop Watch America? Ah, ah, see, it goes back to when I did radio. I feel like in this day and age, you need to maximize every platform to gain the biggest awareness so these families get the justice that's needed. Mm -hmm. So when you're able to be able to, on a TV show that goes into millions of homes, mm -hmm. and next thing you know, now like I get messages, oh, I want a cop watch. Oh, I'm, I'm now recording the police. It serves its purpose. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Now everybody's becoming a cop watcher or an activist. And like I always, I tell my wife this, I tell my kids this and my friends, 2020, activists will be a career. Mm. Like everybody's going to start getting involved. And that's the purpose that I feel that I played on Cop Watch America right. is getting the outside involved inside. Yes, mm. God. I, I want to <laughs> ask you what the biggest lesson it is that you've learned during this. But I also want to ask really quickly, how does your wife feel about this? Because you said uh, Malcolm and Martin, they gave up their lives to do this. Mm -hmm. You're not just doing it by right. yourself. Your yeah. wife has to agree. Your, your children have to be involved yeah, that's with this. Good, and they're absolutely saying yes to you, whatever happens. Mm -hmm. You know, in the beginning, it was tough. Like, she, and I'll be honest, she was like, somebody else needs to go fight. You have a family. Absolutely. Wow. But then when she realized that what these families going through and when she started meeting these families mm -hmm. and then she seen the things that I went through directly, yeah. when she saw the injustice to me mm -hmm. and she had to deal with it, when she saw the, pull, like, that's when she was like, wait a minute. Mm. No, baby, go get it. She got wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. Then like, and like, she's like my biggest supporter. So yeah. at the end of the day, as long as home's good, I'm good. Yes. Yeah. We're so glad you're good. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Like, for real, you're like, good, good. I'm good. Yeah. Yes, I'm man. Blessed. Thank you I'm so much. Favorite. And like Lexi said, thank you so much for following the call that's been yeah. placed on your life. Definitely. It's not about them radio personalities. They are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so Love much, City. We appreciate it. To follow me. City on Instagram, please do so at I Am City Verified and watch him on Cop Watch America on BT Wednesday at 11 p.m.